Hi, thank you so much for tuning in. This next video is going to be from my latest benefit shopping trip. <laughs> so I, um, well, it just felt like kind of uh, posting a fun video on some new products that I've tried out. And these two I've been testing out for a little while now. And here's what I think. So I picked up this Benefit product. It is a bronzer and highlighter in one. So one of my favorite things to purchase is bronzers um, and skincare products, mainly, mainly face washes and bronzers. <laughs> Basically, that's it, <laughs> and <laughs> and a lot of eyeliners too. Let's let's not be let's be serious. <laughs> so this one, the latest one I purchased is um from Benefit. It is uh, the it's called Ten, and it comes in a little box like this. It's really cute. I'm not quite sure why it has a picture of a belt on it, but um I guess it's a belly button and a ten and a belt. Weird. I don't get it but it's cute and I've been using it for about a week now so um, on and off I like to kind of try one product when I get a new product I like to use it kind of like every day for a little while and then I decide whether or not I like it and then I kind of keep going with it so this one is the 10 it comes with a highlighting shade on one side and um, the bronzer on the other side so far I really like it because the highlighter doesn't come out as glittery as I expected and the bronzer doesn't come out as dark as expected either. So the pigment is quite light um, but it looks really nice so it's great for a beginner. So if you're a beginner using bronzer and you've never used bronzer before, this one's a really good one to try out because I find that you can use a large um, bronzer brush and buff it around uh, to get a good even kind of like a little bit glittery but a little bit more bronzy as well and it looks great so when you apply it use a bronzer brush uh, draw three on your face so like you kind of brush it a little bit heavier on your cheeks and then swirl the remaining bronzer around your face I use like to personally personally I like to use bronzer as blush I don't really recommend it for um, everybody but I like the effect it gives me because I don't like wearing blush every day. I, I usually do end up layering a little bit of blush with my bronzer uh, and the apple of my cheeks. Generally not not every day just because it takes a lot of time if, if that's um, in the mornings. So this one is, is the quickest way for me. After a little bit of foundation I use a little bit of bronzer. This one actually comes with a brush and it comes with this interesting little contraption here. It's like a wooden handle. And I haven't used it because I don't like the idea of um, this kind of flat brush. In their instructions, I can't remember where they are in the box. Whatever. Um, ha they use this little thingy. And they tell you to kind of sweep it across. And then you can put it on like this where you put the highlighter side up and the bronzer side down. And you swipe it across. But that's not the way you want your blush to look. You don't ever want it to have like a crease here and a crease on the bottom. So uh, I guess to each your own. Like if that's what you want to do, then go ahead. Um, let me know if that works out for you. I want to see uh, how to videos. <laughs> I think it might be cool if it does work. I like the brush, so maybe I might use this as a way to sweep on loose powder or keep it in my purse as like within a little in my makeup case just to in case I want to do touch-ups. But I, even then I might just swirl the brush around and brush it on my face. I have travel brushes, but this one is not a bad idea if you're, you're kind of just... Um, I, I still leave it with the powder anyway. It comes in the little case and it stores like this. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, that's the bronzer and highlighter. I really like it. I will keep it in my makeup collection. I don't know if it's going to be my staple product, but I like using and mixing it up because sometimes I think this could be a really fun uh fun product especially the highlighter I think it reminds me a lot of Moonbeam which I also own which is their uh, very very famous and well-known kind of gel consistency highlighter and I like that the powder form probably better just because I, I always prefer powders to gels or to creams or anything so this is a neat and fun product then I picked up the stay don't stray eyeshadow primer so I 
wear a lot of eyeshadow and eyeliner every day and I always want to find a good way to keep it to stay put because my lash, as you can see, I don't have much of an eyelid. It's just a very small crease and uh, a lot of my eyeshadow or liner just smudges off and creases midway through the day. So I've tested out a bunch of eyeshadow primers and I always recommend the Urban Decay Priming Potion and uh, this one I decided to give it a shot. It was had on um, they had a demonstration at Sephora and hence the kind of benefit uh, little splurge I did. And this one is their Stay uh, Don't Stray Eyeshadow Primer. I tried it and I think that it might be, it, it works as a primer and it does remove the, and it does keep your eyeliner put and everything. But I don't like the kind of the application technique. What they recommended is you use a concealer brush or use an eyeshadow brush to kind of glide it on your eyeshadow. Like you just kind of squeeze it out of your hand, for example, like this, like this. The problem I have with it is a number of things. First of all, look how much primer comes out. Like this is just a waste to me. Like I don't, this is way too much primer. Like my eyelids are, are tiny right like you can see it <laughs> and, then, and then first of all the pump bottle is like this okay so a lot of it always just like gets drippy and everything so and I have to use my you know brush and then dip it in and everything and I find that it just comes out I might as well just use a concealer as my primer I don't see the point in buying this eyeshadow primer specifically for that because it comes out it, it dries really it dries relatively quickly see can you see it here so that's where I put the, um, that's where I put the primer, and then this is where I put the, it, it's dried on my skin already. Well, anyway, it's, I find that this particular primer just leaves my skin, like, just with white area, because it just, once it dries, it just look cakey and lighter than the rest of my face. And because of that, then I have to put on, like, a darker eyeshadow, um, to cover it up. It, it, which doesn't really make sense because sometimes I just want to prime and then put on liner and then and mascara and then run out the door. But this particular primer, I, I notice it looks like whiter and then I have to put more shadow over it and I finally I have to put more shadow to even get pigment. And this is a lot of the times I'm using nicer shadows too. I'm using, you know, like a Lorac shadow or uh, a MAC shadow. And a lot of the times I have to kind of, I find myself putting more and more and more on just to kind of get that same color pop. Um, I don't really like that. But I think for some this could work just because if you don't, if you have, you know, maybe bigger eyelids or whatnot, you don't really notice that there's this much product left. Because for me, I only need like a tiny, tiny dab, like probably like a quarter of a, like a nail, like like that much probably of, of my <laughs> primer to, to prime my eyes. Which is why I like the wand applicators because, you know, you take it out and then you just you know, just draw it on, or like you use your fingertip and then draw it on, which is good for me, but this one, it just seems a little bit excessive. I don't know, that's just my opinion, so <laughs> take it for what it's worth, and I don't know, I like, I like the idea of it, and I do like Benefit products overall, they're not bad, and it's a fun little product probably to give it a shot. I did actually get a tester, which is so funny, after I purchased it, I actually got a tester of it from, um, I think, from somewhere else. I can't even remember where I got shoppers, I think. And they gave me a tester. So I was like, well, I wish I had known. <laughs> I wish I had tested it out before I purchased it. But uh, this is where I stand. I, I probably recommend trying it out, getting asking them for a little tester. Um, or they come with the little eyeshadow packets now, I think, too. So you could probably buy an eyeshadow and they'll give you a little tester. So try it out before you purchase because it is a lot of product and I don't think I'll ever get through something like this. Um, I probably will probably hide it a little bit deep into my makeup collection because it's not my favorite but uh, generally one out of two is not bad. <laughs> so these are um, this is my benefit review and I'd love to hear what you guys think and let me know what kind of videos you guys want me to post next. Um, I did get everybody's email, so thank you so much for your foundation requests for me to test out and everything. I will get to that soon, I'm, I promise. So thank you so much for watching and I really want to talk to you guys soon. Thanks.